tonight. And we start with a six seed, the Eagles of Eastern Michigan. Raven Lee didn't play particularly well last night. He and Mike Talley will have to show up. Carrington Ward did play very well. Dalen Harrison and Deshante Riley, the MAC Defensive Player of the Year, in foul trouble. Fouled out last night and only played 12 minutes. Flip it over and take a look at Bobby Hurley's MAC East Division Champions. Gerard Oldham, Joshua Freelove, a formidable senior backcourt. Jaron Skeet. Settle back and enjoy it, everybody. The six seed Eastern Michigan in their traveling greens and. The number three seed, the Mac East Division champion, Buffalo Bulls in their home. White settle back and enjoy. We're going to take it to the hoop in the second Mac quarterfinal right here on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. And this is Jaron Skeet. He's off the mark on that triple try. So how close attention should we pay to uh, Rob Murphy's squad at the offensive end tonight, Tony White? Very close attention. I think that might be the key for whether Eastern Michigan is going to win this game or not. You can expect reasonably to get great defense, but they've got to make points. The Buffalo's too good of a team to score 40, 45, 50 points and expect to beat this Buffalo team. Two opportunities there. Tally off the missed three. Balen Harrison could convert. Jaron Skeet is 0 for 2 from long distance. So Skeet getting the start tonight in the three guard look with Gerard Oldham, the point guard, and Joshua Freelove, the outstanding offensive point producer. Buffalo, two possessions, two penetrations. You're not supposed to be able to penetrate this Eastern Michigan team, either with the pass or the dribble. We've seen the penetration of the pass, Devon McRae down low, and a penetration by a Buffalo guard. That's not that's not Eastern Michigan defense. They want to pen, to keep everybody on the perimeter. John McCray whistled that pass that was uh, deflected out of bounds by Eastern Michigan. Buffalo at 19 and nine. McCray had it stripped away. Now Raven Lee will attack the cup. Wave it off. That foul got called out on the floor. And uh, is going to go against Joshua Freelove. All right, Tony, what, how about our YP? Keys to getting it done for both Eastern Michigan and Buffalo. Eastern Michigan first rebound. Again, my key for Eastern Michigan against Northern Illinois was the rebound. They have to do it again. One of the worst rebounding teams in the MAC in terms of giving up offensive rebounds. They can't do that against this powerful Buffalo team. And for Buffalo, we'll get to that in a minute. Dalen Harrison's going to raise up. And Eastern Michigan starts 0 for 3 from the floor. Buffalo 0 for 2 on the steep pair of missed threes. That very famous and familiar 2 3 zone. And again, it's not just number one in the MAC, it's number one in a lot of categories in the nation as Javon McCray is off the mark. Both teams chilly to start it out. This is Mike Talent. Raven Lee gave it up. Harrison. Boy, this Buffalo is, basketball. This is the antithesis of the game we saw in the first uh, first game. But my second key for Buffalo is find McCray. The Eastern Michigan zone makes it very difficult to get the ball into the post player. We saw that against the Eagles, how they controlled Northern Illinois' Jordan Freelock. Buffalo has to fight that. They have to get the ball down low no matter how tough it is. They've got to find a way to get their best player, McCray, down low even though Eastern Michigan's defense is designed to prevent that. So we have a block on Carrington Ward. That's first team foul on the Eastern Michigan Eagles. Ipsolani, Michigan campus. Basketball team, 10-8. and eight. And then you add the Monday night win and the win in the second round last night. So 12 MAC wins this year. Javon McCray can't connect on that short jumper. Both these teams really struggling from the floor. Nobody looking confident when they're taking their shots. Carrington Ward had a big night last night. And Ward is going to unload the triple and ring that up. A lot of times when Eastern Michigan needs a bucket, they go to Carrington Ward and he answers. This time he did exactly that. He answered when Eastern Michigan needed a big shot and a three-pointer drills it. McCray is going to take it on uh, Deshante Riley. 
Will Regan will hoist and hit that triple. That was all started by the penetration with the pass. Javon McCray on the block and a good reversal by him. How about that finish from Raven Lee? Had a tough night last night. And took it strong on the baseline there. That's twice that Raven Lee has aggressively gone to the basket. I like to see that. You come off a tough night, you still go aggressively to the rim. Joshua Freelove will rip forward on the three. And wow, did he shoot it well down the stretch from deep. He did, but again, keyed off the penetration on the pass to the post to Javon McCray. This Eastern Michigan defense is not running at the same intensity they did last night and have done throughout the course of the season. You see Eastern Michigan's defense, there's been way too many post passes. They've got to ramp up the energy on that defensive end. Freelove again to load it up again. and lace it. Joshua Freelove with a uh, smack of the heart, this transfer. Who began his career at the University of Toledo as a freshman, many of you Mac fans will remember. It's going to be a Gerard Oldham Buffalo foul, so we're inside the 16-minute mark after both teams in a very chilly start. We've started to pick it up. Bulls from upstate western New York, and of course, this will be Eastern Michigan Eagles, but eh, 30, 35 miles as the crow flies to the, the west of uh, the city of Detroit in southeast Michigan. Mike Talley got stripped away. Joshua Freelock running the floor. McCray is going to get hit with a technical foul. They're trying to crush that. And Javon McCray hung on the rim. Yep, tried to get the ball in transition off the glass. Drive to the hole. McCray tried to get it. The official felt that he hung on the rim too long. You're allowed to hang on the rim to keep yourself from falling. It looked like McCray. Was doing that, the official decided he was hanging on the rim too long. So Javon McCoy is uh, going to get whistled with a technical foul. Now that's also a personal foul. Yep, in a college game. So that's the first on Javon McCoy. And that might be the most important part of that. Yeah. Because no, Buffalo could not afford to have Javon McCoy get foul trouble. Harrington Ward to shoot the McCray technical. Ward collected uh, one of the two. Technical foul is the last beat. Technical foul. No personal foul. Oh, now they are changing that. And they're saying that it will not be registered as a personal. No personal foul, but he's doing a technical foul for hanging up the road. Right. Okay, so no personal foul. No personal foul. Okay. He's heard the conversation uh, with Ray for the Horses. Uh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Referee. Class B. Because of the Class B technical foul, there is no personal foul for Devon McCray. So that's, that's got to that's be a big relief to Coach Early. Can't have your big guy, your horse, getting fouled. Well, that's a terrific thing, though, about the college game. The officials always come over and they'll give you the explanation, right, to us as we are uh, live on the air and you can hear it. And Xavier Ford's on the floor now. Ford uh, had been a starter for most of the year for Buffalo. He came up with the, uh, the rip away. And Deshante Riley will take it right back for Eastern Michigan. So turnovers on each squad. This is Carrington Ward to unload and fill up that three. What a cool stroke Ward has. Carrington Ward willing his team to score points. He's the guy on the offensive end for, for this Eastern Michigan team. Seven of their nine points. Only two points not associated with Carrington Ward for Eastern Michigan to start this game. Even at nine apiece after a slow start, people picking it up. Shannon Evans is second. He wears number 11. Dynamic freshman on the floor for Buffalo. Free love off the mark and the shot to Riley at board. That was not a good shot by Free Love. Way too deep, too early in the 35 second shot clock. Glenn Bryant had a couple of opportunities. He's an energizer and really gave it to Rob Murphy in Eastern Michigan in their win last night. Uh oh, Glenn Bryant might be awake. 
I mean, this kid's been sleeping for the last month or so with this Eastern Michigan team. And he's played a good half, second half against Northern Illinois, and he's come in here loudly doing things for Eastern Michigan. Regan will step into it. McCray had a stick back that wouldn't drop for him. Glenn Bryant again with the rebound. Ward to unload that a book. That's a deuce from a step inside the three-point arc. And he's smiling because he knows he didn't call glass. He was trying to put that ball straight in and went off the glass. He's smiling. He knows. But still counts for two points. Yeah, eight run He's for Michigan right now. And Javon McCray off the spin. The shot to Riley at seven foot one said, no, you won't. Free love will save Buffalo. Ripped away by Mike Kelly. Pick Shannon Evans. And Bryant, he came straight out of the attic to smash that hole. And went up high. Glenn Bryant left no doubt on all over Division I, 348 school. Everybody. I mean, they, they are the best at defending in terms of keeping teams from shooting a high percentage from the field. Nobody does a better piece than this. How does Buffalo attack this zone? They did it well. They put 76 points up in their, their win as Shannon Evans can't triple. He got the right shot though. Move the ball around, get the open three in the corner. That's where the weakness lies on this Eastern Michigan defense. You move them, you make them rotate, and you take a corner three. And Javon McCray is getting the respite on uh, Bobby Hurley's bench right now as Justin Moss, the 6'7 sophomore out of Detroit, Romulus High School. He's probably familiar with a lot of uh, his opponents tonight. A lot of Eastern Michigan players from the Northern City. Tally to step into a triple. Barely grazed from rim. And about eight minutes in, Eastern Michigan on this run is up a half dozen. Moss is going to go to the free throw line. And he attacked the hoop. And Bobby Hurley. And uh, his, his guards trying to find some ways, Tony, to get into those voids in that Eastern Michigan zone. They've been doing a good job, typically with the pass, getting into the post, penetrating that way. You can penetrate on the dribble, but penetrating on the pass is just as good. It gives your big guys an opportunity. Justin Moss, oh, he doesn't look like a sophomore, does he? Man, no, he doesn't. He's a big guy. I mean, you get, if you're a post guy for Eastern Michigan, and Javon McCray and all those muscles go sit down, you think, Ooh, I can take a little bit of a break from the big guy pounding on me, and then in comes this sophomore who looks like a linebacker. And yeah, Justin Moss, well put together at 6'7", 255. He's only shooting 67% from the floor. That's all. In the map. I mean, that's two-thirds of his shots that he takes, he, he's putting in. He's done a terrific job, and it's allowing Bounty Hurley to give... Javon McCray a little bit longer, maybe extend his respites by a minute or so. And he's played, Bobby Hurley's played those guys together, and when he does, man, oh man, you better, you better not be faint of heart to get down there and try and get a rebound. That's right, this is Glenn Bryant from deep, and he'll stick it. He's got it going on, folks, does Glenn Bryant of Eastern Michigan. This is the Glenn Bryant that we were talking about preseason as one of the top ten players in this conference. He has shown up for this conference tournament in Cleveland, and he is playing. It's great to see. It's good to see a kid with that yeah. much talent out there having fun and doing things the right way. Because he was taken on the starting lineup yeah. at the Time midway out. point of the MAC campaign. Time out. All right, so J.R. Sims will get whistled for that Eastern Michigan foul. There's a Gerard Oldham West, the Eastern Michigan Eagles, and uh, the officials were looking to see if Carrington Ward's field goal make this a, a three or uh, just a deuce. So that lead stays at seven. Offensive foul on Jaron Skeet. Mo Hewley. Hewley who gives some uh, some rest time to Javante, uh, Deshante Riley. Has uh, done a nice job on the defensive end for Eastern Michigan. He has. He's had a good couple of weeks. We've seen a lot of Eastern Michigan's games the last couple of weeks. No Healy's been giving him some good offensive and defensive minutes. Darrell Combs, uh, that young man is uh, not bashful, and uh, that's what he is. Uh, he, he comes off the bench to provide some instant heat for Rob Murphy in Eastern Michigan, and he 
didn't never met a shot he did not. And he's not easily dejected. No, when he misses <laughs> shots because he will keep shooting it even though he's missing. But I'll tell you, he gets right. When he gets on a streak, when that kid gets on a streak, oh, yeah. it is it is blinding how quickly he can score points. Will Regan will gather and have that jumper curl out. Look at Javon McCray, the Mac player of the year. On the offensive glass. And on the alternate possession, it'll stay with Buffalo. Ball goes up, and you know Javon McCray is going to be all over it. Tied up situation. Good call by the official. Jaron Skeet with a rainbow three that rattled out. Again, will stay with Eastern Michigan. Javon McCray became the all-time uh, leading point producer in Buffalo Bulls history this year. Player of the year in the MAC, first team All MAC, and deservedly so. He's had some incredible performances this year. Incredible. I mean, the kid has been dominant. There's McCray, and I'm a little bit frustrated right now. Again, Mo Hewley playing good defense down there, frustrating McCray on that move. Darrell Combs gave it up to Hewley, who wants to take Will Regan. And Regan slapped it away. And Buffalo has not played since Saturday, Sunday afternoon. They'll be going great. Been away from competition for uh, the game atmosphere for five days. And Eastern Michigan is an easy team to look rusty against because that zone defense just puts you all out of kilter. It makes it takes you away from all the things you want to do, and it's easy not to look smooth against Eastern Michigan. The Well Combs had Will Regan pop out on him. Never saw the hoop. This is Gerard Oldham. Oldham in a lot of trouble. Buffalo has missed their last eight shots. McCray is going to go to the free throw line. <laughs> and he just said yeah. the heck with this. That's all. That's he all. got that rebound. He said, okay, I'm done with this. I'm taking this and I'm going to the hole. Watch the shot. It's just an ugly scrum down there right now. And the ball kind of flops around and Yvonne McCray gets it. He will go to the stripe, and there's a good look. The State University of uh, New York, Buffalo. And, uh, that has uh, been the, the main slogan of this Buffalo Bulls program. As you see Darrell Combs holding that, uh, that left shoulder will check out. As Javon McCray will split the pair from the line. And the one free throw make ends that drought. Stepping into the triple and burying it is Raven Lee of Eastern Michigan. Raven Lee bounces back nicely against after a tough game last night. He's making plays, not making mistakes, which is almost as important as him making plays. Eastern Michigan by nine. That's Joshua Freelove, and he's dialed long distance. He's the third three of the opening half. And that's going to help Javon McCray as Freelove starts making shots in the perimeter. And that's going to force Eastern Michigan to adjust to him and push the ball out there a little bit and give Javon McCray more room down low. Joshua Freelove with nine. He's a three of four from long distance. This is Raven Lee. It looked like he shoved off. And then bottoms out the jumper. Raven Lee lucky he did not get a foul there. That, is, that arm was extended. Usually the officials will whistle you for an offensive foul that extended on. Coach Bobby Hurley was yelling for it. No call. Dalen Harrison flew out at free love. Made it a tough look. And Will Regan cleaned it up. Regan on the offensive glass, which he put back for Buffalo. And starting to heat up now. Eastern Michigan by six. That's Dalen Harrison that didn't rock. Tough shot by Dalen Harrison. Oldham will attack the cup. McCray, uh-uh. Javon McCray came flying to the hoop in one motion but couldn't finish. And just wanted to have it grab that ball, come down with two feet, go back up and rip the ring down. Instead of trying to be light and dainty and tipping it, that's a tough tip. Yeah, a full court transition. That's a foul. Raven Lee. That's oh. going to be all. Oh. And Shannon Evans, the second. Oh. Buffalo foul. And then 
the very next play, Raven Lee did it again. And this time the foul, or instead of the no call, there was a call made against Buffalo. So Bobby Hurley saying, look, he, kid's extending his arm. You got to call that offensive foul. I, by the way, I think he has a legitimate argument there. Sure. The shot they Riley back on the floor. Dalen Harrison, but it was a tough look with the left hand. Harrison, the offensive board off his own miss. This is Carrington Ward. That's going to be a Shannon Evans, the second foul. And what a freshman year Shannon Evans, the second half for Bobby Hurley. That's his second personal foul. Got to appreciate Shannon Evans' hustle. You dive too soon, and you make contact, that's going to be a foul. Another good call by the official there. The winner of this one gets the second seeded offensive lead. Colton Toledo Rockets tomorrow night. And the second max semi, Todd Kowalczyk squad. 26 win basketball team. Raven Lee will step back and launch and will regain a board. And Buffalo wants to push. McCray has to spin. Javon McCray having a hard time against the 7-1. Mac defensive player of the year. Rod Oldham was firing on the triple. It's it's a tough stretch. Buffalo's going through offensively. Yeah, and it's some of the Eastern Michigan's are a defense, but Buffalo's had their looks. They've had their shots. They just can't get him to drop. Raven Lee off a pull up and he'll drain it. Raven Lee looking exactly the opposite of how he looked last night. He's playing with confidence. He's making shots. He's not making mistakes. Buffalo comes to the offensive end, just 5 of 22 from the floor here for the Bulls in the opening half. They average right about 75 points a night. That's a lot older. He thought Freelog was slashing baseline and threw it away right to Carrington Ward. Can't leave your feet without a plan against Eastern Michigan. They're too good on defense. There's too few opportunities to do anything. You've got to stay under control, stay on your feet. Eastern Michigan. By eight. Harrison slapped away. Nice defense from Will Regan. Oldham, McCray, Skeet, Regan, and Freelove. Bobby Hurley starting five for the third seeded Bulls. But how do you attack the length of this 2 3 zone? That's a good one. Triple's going to go for Jaron Skeeter. But it was contested. It was under duress. No doubt. But, you know, every three-pointer forces this Eastern Michigan team to extend a little bit more, a little bit more, and then suddenly you have Javon McClay down low getting some room and taking control. Jaron Skeet connected. This is Raven Lee. And that's a kick ball. This is referee Chris Beaver. Official tonight. And Bryant returns for the here comes Glenn Bryant checking back in. The, uh, the prince of uh, midair is Glenn Bryant. 6-8. Eastern Michigan missed Glenn Bryant when he was on that bench. Mm -hmm. he, he, he gave them an offensive edge that when he was sitting on the bench, Eastern Michigan did not have. And Bryant back on the floor. Buffalo for all their problems offensively, only down five. Tally got stripped, make it seven though. That's Carrington Ward, such a opportunistic offensive player as Ward. Yeah, you mentioned the, 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 the all the tough difficulty Buffalo's had, they're only down seven. That's a great point. Make it down four now. That's the fourth triple for Joshua Freelove in this opening half. A man can shoot it. It's a great point, Michael, because as good as Eastern Michigan is off uh, defensively, that's how poor they are offensively for the most part. They can't take that defense and really extend big leads that they need to do. Sherrod Oldham, the look away, and then the big step to the bucket. And here comes Bobby Hurley's Buffalo Bulls. But it's living around the, around the rim. I said, Will Regan, let me correct myself. Joshua Fila helping out with Javon McCray. We approach the four minute mark. Darrell Combs is back. This is Glenn Bryant. We got pushed by Justin Moss because Justin Moss cannot check Glenn Bryant, the real Glenn Bryant. 
He cannot check the real Glenn Bryant when he's out there putting the ball on the ground and doing stuff athletically. Glenn Bryant just too quick for Justin Moss. The real Glenn Bryant, please stand up. And he's standing up right now. He started standing up last night. Right, he's got his hand up in the air saying more, more, more. And here he is. Bryant wants it in an ISO. And he got hit with an offensive foul. So there is the uh, the arm bar clear out that Bobby Hurley won in a couple of minutes ago. In the MAC tournament earlier today, so Buffalo fans getting to see uh, both the uh, the women and the men here on this Thursday. Trying to get this tied up by the Bulls on this trip. Justin Moss, excellent save, but Gerard Oldham couldn't. Sloppy possession by Buffalo coming out of the timeout. A great opportunity to tie this game or take the lead. And to see a turnover, that's that's got to be frustrating for Coach Hurley. Buffalo, uh, despite their shooting woes until just a couple of possessions ago, managed to stay attached and got it back to within two. And how does Eastern Michigan respond on the offensive end? J.R. Sims, fifth year senior on the floor. Glenn Bryant again wants it against Moss. Bryant off that big jump step. Wiley had a put back. Good move by Bryant, just didn't drop it. Still, very good move in the post. And Gerard Oldham got bumped before Deshante Riley spiked that out of the air. Darrell Coles on the Eastern Michigan foul. It's a drive. Just Deshante Riley put an exclamation mark on that, that block. Looked like he had a little frustration he took out on that basketball. This is one of the uh, top distributors of the basketball in the MAC, Gerard Oldham. Good to see Oldham uh, play uh, this now, uh, what is his senior season. Missed all of the MAC campaign last year after he fractured a wrist. He's playing very fine basketball. So he comes back, which is eight and a half a game and five assists. And real nice assist turnover ratio for Bobby Hurley. Big part of this Buffalo team's success this year is Oldham, especially a team that has big guys who can make plays. You need a guard who can really create opportunities for him, and that is Oldham fits his fits him to a team. And if you're a point guard, I mean, let's be very frank about this. You're going to come under. You play for Bobby Hurley. Oh, yeah. You're going to come under intense scrutiny every moment, every possession, both ends of the floor, practice floor, and game. I'm going to think, by the way, Michael, that any player for Bobby Hurley is going to get intense scrutiny. I'm going to think that the point guard gets some extra intense scrutiny. No doubt. J.R. Sims has bottomed out that long range three. Yeah, but Buffalo got back to within one. Sims is triple. Will push the Eastern Michigan lead to four. That's a deep, deep triple from Joshua Freelaw. Not a good shot. You can see Coach Hill is not thrilled with that shot selection. Yeah, he shot that from the Cleveland suburbs, Tony White. You got the best player in the match sitting in the paint. You got to find a way to get to him before you take that shot. Same spot for J.R. Sims. That triple try would not drop. As we approach the two minute mark, hold him to the crossover. McCray trying to keep it alive. Regan with a short J. It will stay with Buffalo. Brick after brick after brick by Buffalo. Got to find a way. I mean, not really trying to get it down to Javon McCray as Buffalo. I mean, this is the best kid in the, in the entire conference. You got to find a way to get it to him. Oldham in the tall trees. He couldn't finish. Jaron Skeet, no. McCray is going to go to the free throw line. In that two possession sequence, there were four offensive boards by Buffalo. Buffalo just you know, willing their way to the basketball and opportunity to shoot. Javon McCray. Javon McCray's on Javon McCray is on him. Javon McCray has one point in this half. He had 34 against Bowling Green in his last game. He's got one. Yeah, Javon McCray on the night is uh, 0 for 6 from the floor. He splits the pair from the line there. I'll tell you, Michael, 
points for Javon McRae, 0 for 6, and Buffalo's down 3. <laughs> Uh, you know, hey, if, if Coach Early was asked before the game, Javon McRae is going to go over six in the first half, but you'll be down three. Will you take it? He goes. So, yep. Carrington Ward will come up firing the three. McRae slapped it away from Riley. And uh, you add McRae to Buffalo as a team, 30% at 8 for 26 as a team. And it's easy, it's knee jerk to say, well, that's just more Eastern Michigan great defense. But I'm telling you, a lot of those missed shots have been jump up and just not making shots. And Buffalo had a rip away, and then Eastern Michigan turned it right back over, and Carrington Ward. I guess thought he was a baseball pitcher trying to throw that 95 mile an hour fastball on the black of the plate and threw it right out of bounds. Again, the best word I can describe that little exchange is yeesh. Yeah, that's the look right there. I think we all have that look. Neither one of these teams really taking advantage of the opportunity of the other team's poor play. Will Regan will stick that deep triple. Man. Buffalo with Javon McRae, essentially a no factor with two points and no field goals, tied under a minute. Well, how about this, Tony? They, Buffalo's got nine field goals, makes seven of them are from distance beyond the arc. Wow. Yeah, they're not a three point shooting team, and they're not going to come here and bomb them. We're tied at 29 apiece. Shot clock at 10 for Mike Talent. And McRae was lurking. Shot clock at five. Glenn Bryant got bothered by McCoy, and now shot clock off. And Buffalo can use it all. But Joshua Freelove said, give me three of these. I don't need to use it all. That was a horrible shot until the second it went in. It was terrible. But Freelove buried a 13-3 Buffalo run. Has him on top. Five seconds left. J.R. Sims. Nope, front rim. Regan got it off, and drew some iron. A 13 to three run for the Michigan team. You know they play good defense, and it. Look at the Buffalo two point field goal shooting. <laughs> two of 16, and eight of 16 from the three point line. The farther they got away, the better they shot it. All right, let's uh, revisit Tony's YP keys to getting it done uh, for Eastern Michigan. Uh, Got to dominate that glass. Yeah, they're getting they're getting beat up on the glass. Minus eight. And boy, Buffalo, they found McCray some, but when they found him, he hadn't had anything. A big, fat donut from the field for Javon McCray. Boy, has that ever happened? I mean, has that kid ever gone over the entire high? It would be hard-pressed to think so. Joshua Freelove is hoping to find his sixth three as we start the second half after Raven Lee couldn't connect. Ooh. Harrington Ward. Ooh. I'm going to count that. And oh, yes, who is right? Is that's a very, very scary spill. Uh, count the bucket on Harrington Ward. Jared Skeet took a terrible spill. I oh, hope that kid's all right. He hit the ground hard. Up in the air, goes horizontal with the contact and hits his head on the floor, too. Boy. So the concern is for Jaron Skeet right now of uh, Buffalo. Skeet, the Canadian from Ompton, Ontario, the 6'3 sophomore. Hope there's just a bump on the head and he's being cautious and talking to him, making sure he's knows where he's at. Just 25 seconds into this second half. Jaron Skeet being attended to by the University of Buffalo athletic training staff, and now Skeet is on his feet. And she's being let off the floor. Until he's in pain, that he hit the ground in the worst possible way. Legs way up in the air. Really that 
kid, sit that kid down. Thank you. Yeah, so we'll check out the condition of uh, Jared Ski and pass it along to you as soon as we get any word. Shannon Evans is second. Freshman is going to uh, check it and play Ski. So, Jaron Ski will be attended to with this Buffalo lead at 32-31, uh, and Carrington Ward are trying to add the end one here. Threes for Michigan. Didn't happen. Well, I think it's time for Buffalo to get the ball to start the play again. I, you know, you come down, fire a three from, uh, from three love to start the game. I get that. The free love's a shooter, and he's a free shooter. But you got to get it to your big horse. And you got to get it right. He's 0 for 7 in the first half. Had, didn't get a field goal, only two points. You want that to continue in the second half. Best way to stop that is to get in the ball. Top three low. Top. Bring it up one more time. He shot that from beyond the slash mark. Did Josh for free low. That's his sixth triple here tonight. Uh, you know, decision making is not free love best and strongest category, but luckily for him, making three point shots is. Strong to the hoop was Mike Talley, but it didn't go down. And Gerard Oldham will push Buffalo. Oldham with a crossover. Now Eastern Michigan runs with Mike Talley. This is Carrington Ward. And the one deep triple. He's got a very, very sweet stroke as well. Nice secondary transition by Eastern Michigan. Couldn't get all the way to the rim because Buffalo got back and stopped that. But secondary transition is filling in those lanes and finding the ball, finding the shooter by moving the basketball around. The third seeded Buffalo Bulls try to advance. To play the second seeded Toledo Rockets tomorrow night. You go with 15 on that shot clock and on the, on the Buffalo inbound. J.R. Sims will return as Raven Lee. It's a uh, respite. Uh, Rob Murphy's Eastern Michigan bench. McCray, good look. Got it right back. Had to muscle it up and down. And it'll go to the free throw line for Buffalo. I am convinced that Buffalo is a Javon McCray as we know him. By the way, that's a great pass. A Javon McCray as we know him. Away from opening up a lead in this game. Because everybody else is playing well enough offensively for Buffalo. But if you have a normal production effort from Javon McCray, mm -hmm. this is a 10-point lead for Buffalo right now. Sure, yeah. He does have nine boards, and he splits the pair from the line. He's three of six from the line, nine boards, five of them on the offensive end. He's eight for seven from the floor. Very uncharacteristic. Maybe, though, trying to, uh, again, that hasn't seen Deshante Riley at seven foot one since a couple of months ago, back in mid January. Probably was hoping that nightmare was over with. J.R. Sims came up short on that long three. A couple minutes in to the second half. Great to have you along. Hope you were with us as Akron rallied to beat Ohio. 83-77. McCray just getting swallowed up in the paint. Free love. Oh, the oh, oh. And lace his seventh. I say seventh triple of the night. And they have not been easy triples. Not like he's been just standing there and nobody's been checking him. He's been off balance and taking tough three-point shots and making them. Wow. Now, uh, the Buffalo bench is looking for a, an intentional foul there as Gerard Oldham was running out. Jamon McRae, the all-time leading scorer in the University at Buffalo history, but tonight he's just doing the, the, the hard hat lunch pair work on the glass. He's given away, and his senior teammate, Joshua Freelove, has absolutely been scorching with the seven threes. He might shoot it from the Mac logo. One of these trips down the floor. He might come over here, sit down with us, and shoot it just so he can prove he can do it. 
This is Gerard Oldham. Free oh. love. Number eight. Bang! 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 Oh. He's tripled for the eighth time tonight. Wow. Oh, Joshua Freela, you are shots right and left. And really at a time when Buffalo needed with Javon McRae in a situation where he's not making anything from the field. I mean literally not making anything. Freela has stepped up and filled that void. Uh, Hunt was just going to force Rob Murphy to adjust his 2-3 zone. They're going to have to really step out, are they not? And start to at least challenge some of Free Love's misses. If they want to win the game, they are. Because Free Love is not going to miss. It doesn't look like on his own. So somebody better get out there and get in his face. And if you do that, that's what I'm talking about, extending that zone. If you have to extend that zone to cover a three-point shooter, that should open it up theoretically for Javon McRae to Go to work that way. Shannon Evans just got into his third personal foul, so Mike Tally will go to the free throw line. In the first half, the Eagles of Eastern Michigan, while Buffalo was absolutely ice cold from the floor, had a nine point lead, so we're going to have a 17 point turnaround. With Buffalo going from a nine down to eight points up. They get to seven points up right now. He's Mike Tavern has split the pair. 2 2 1. Trap pressure right now from Eastern Michigan. Just looking to force Buffalo to take a little time off the clock before they get into their offense. Now, instead of a 35 second shot clock, Buffalo effectively has a 25 second shot clock. They're going to get a shot a lot quicker. The hope from Rob Murphy is maybe they won't be able to find free love until it's 25 seconds so easily. Clock down to seven. Regan's going to launch the triple, and you can book that for Will Regan. Hey, where, where's this Buffalo three-point shot Arsenal been all year? This Buffalo team is on fire from the perimeter. Buffalo has now connected on 12 threes tonight. Man. And you're talking against the, the best team in the match defending the three-point line in Eastern Michigan. Tally will go strong to the rim. The Shante Riley will float it up and down. Bobby Hurley calling for Deshante Riley to get a technical for holding on to the rim when he went up. Because he had one hit on Javon McRae earlier in this game. That's going to be an offensive foul on uh, Jawad Oldham for clearing off. All right, we're inside the, uh, the 16 minute mark uh, with 15 3 left. We'll get the timeout as Bobby Hurley and his Buffalo Bulls have an eight point lead. AA in Division One for the first year college head coaches. That's Bobby Hurley. And I'm surprised, Michael, that Bobby Hurley did not get more coaches, more, more votes for not coach of the year. He only got one vote. He had third best record in all of college basketball for a first year coach, and he got one vote. You have Glenn Bryant back on the floor right now. Steve Hawkins, of course, uh, for a well-deserved. By the way, yep. Steve Hawkins, well-deserved. 14 and 4. Year. Yep. I'm not suggesting that he should have been coach here. I'm suggesting that Bobby Hurley maybe should have got him a few more votes. And a couple of opportunities for Eastern Michigan. Darrell Combs, uh, not on the mark there. But when you look at it, I mean, this was tough. You could make a case. Steve Hawkins, Todd Kowalczyk, Bobby Hurley. Um, uh, how about Mark Montgomery for the way he turned around Northern Illinois? You know, I mean, you could make a case, and there's Javon McRae knocking out his first field goal make of the night. I mean, there are a lot of great coaches in this conference, and like I said, you know, Todd Kowalczyk, I mean, Hawkins, I mean, Mark Montgomery, Curley. You can make a case for all three, yes. all four of them. Yes. Coach of the year. I'm just surprised that the votes were not more evenly distributed that Bobby Hurley would have gotten a few more votes uh -huh. from a few people. Only one vote. No, I hear you. I, I too was uh, 